Hello everyone, Martin here, back with another Doomsday video, and today I have quite a treat for you. Um, I'm joined by uh, Marcus Ewald from Sweden, um, longtime legacy aficionado expert, uh, caster of blue draw spells and counter spells. So, uh, hey Marcus, you want to say hi? Nice to be here. Sweet. Yeah, so um, Marcus was kind enough to join me. Um, after a long day's work, uh, it's evening time here in Europe uh, when we're recording. Uh, Marcus will be here for as many matches as he can uh, feel makes sense for him, so we'll, we'll go along with that. Um, so, I've, uh, I wanted, I, I'm especially happy you had time to join me here because I'm playing what, which, what is basically a take on your list. Um, the, the Esper Doomsday list that you uh, played and had, uh, I think, a lot of success, success with. Um, so I've made a couple of changes here and there. I think uh, you'll notice I've added a Pact of Negation, and that is in place of the Flusterstorm you had in the main deck. And I think other than that, the main deck is pretty much identical. Oh yeah, I'm playing Street Wraith over y your Edge of Autumn. Um, but those are the two changes I made to the main deck. And uh, just quickly, like I know Pact of Negation and Flusterstorm kind of do completely different things. Um, so I'm not sure that cutting Flusterstorm to add Pact was correct. I might, it might be more correct to cut something else, but hey, that's what I went with. I, I wanted Pact personally because having played this list uh, quite a bit without it, I felt like there are enough games where I kind of, I'm unable to fit in Teferi and I still want to play around Endurance in, the, in like game one. So, so yeah, but, and then like in the sideboard, I have... I have decided to not play the Stoneforge package, and in, in, instead I wanted to try out some Tomb Stalkers for the Delver matchup. But like, I'm pretty much looking to board in these 12 cards versus Delver. And then I've just loved having some Monastery Mentors just in like almost every matchup. I feel like it's correct to, at least in a lot of them, to bring in like one or two two Mentors just to... to spread your your threats out but yeah enough about that uh, so uh can you say a few things about this list and and about like how what you like about it what you yeah yeah sure uh, well i can go over your changes so pact of negation it's a card i really like and uh, i just don't know how good it is in doomsday i haven't played it played it much but uh, i dislike how you in the first piles you need the uh, lion's eye diamond and then basically you, you crack LED and discard your hand, so then Pact can't protect you unless you draw into it, and then they can counter your draw spell. So so I haven't really figured that one out. But I, the reason I like Flusterstorm is how it overlaps with the sideboard. So the sideboard is basically just... I, I see you have two Force of Negations, but it's mostly just white cards you transform into this mid-range pile. So then you have to make the most of it out of your, your main deck cards and Flusterstorm is good in the mentor plans to protect mentor and uh, also as a non-combo blue spell that you you're okay right. to, to have so yeah i can see it go both ways but that that's why i ended up on Flusterstorm. that's fair that's fair um so so in in testing, I actually pl have played this quite a bit in the last couple of weeks. Um, not this this exact seventy five. I've I've tinkered with it, but like a, a take on your seventy five. And first of all, like um, yeah, I'm not really sure where to begin, really. But but like I I find like monastery mentor incredibly difficult to work to get to work well against Delver. It like in that transitional uh, transformational sideboard kind of way where you completely pivot into a different deck um the main reason i i that i've had felt like i've had trouble with it is just like a three mana threat versus delver has been really hard to swing i can see how having flusterstorm to protect it from like bolt is, is is big big game um so i can definitely see that there but then again you need to get to like the you know to have four mana I, essentially on the turn you play it so i i feel like sometimes that can be hard against delver but I, 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 um, I can see the, the strategic sort of 
benefit of having a card like Flusterstorm because it allows you, it, it basically, like you said, it, it functions well in both in both uh, versions of the deck. Something I did want to ask you about because I was actually just watching a video that um, Brian Koval, you know, Bosch and Roll, was uh, was yeah. doing of, of of the same list basically, but with the uh, Stoneforge Mystics, and he seemed to approach it as a completely transformational sideboard and as basically not having any sideboard cards that would come in unless all of them came in. Maybe that's putting it a bit harshly, but that's sort of what I took away from what he was saying. And I was curious if you wanted to to comment on how you view it, because in my opinion... Sure. Uh, no, sorry, yeah, no, go ahead, go ahead. It's like a sliding scale, both from a deck building perspective, how, how deep you want to go in your plan B, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And then it's also like a sliding scale of how much you want to add uh, like you mentioned, the mentors, they are not great. I don't think, unless you also have Stoneforge, I don't think you have like a critical mass of creatures to to swing like in the, into this Stoneblade or what have you deck. Mm. It's more like an alternative win con against control instead. Right. And uh, versus lands or 12 post, uh, like what have you, with plenty of hate pieces and no clock, then you can just mentor them. Um, so, yeah, I, it's it's kind of hard to, to, to determine how fast you want to be because not only can you pick the sideboard cards for the matchup, but the, the, you can also either, either you cut your uh, Force of Wills or you can cut your fast mana. So you can also adjust like how fast you want to be. Sure. <laughs> Uh, and I have no clue what is correct. Uh, I think it's it depends really on what your opponent, how they plan. That's that's the reason you have this transformational sideboard too, so that you can have your your best card. Well, so you have their best sideboard cards to not line up at all against your. Best yeah, cards. yeah. No, I think that's a good point. Uh, the reason I it sort of tickled something in me. I wanted to ask you about it was just that. So, some decks some combo decks with trans tra transformational sideboard uh sideboards tend to go like all in on like two different plans and then try to confuse the opponent kind of you know so yeah where, where like let's say your your uh tin fins reanimator and you're mm -hmm. you're playing against whatever uh like maverick and then you board into doomsday because you're expecting them to bring in like uh, rest in peace or leyline of the void or whatever, and so you you board into this combo that kind of circumvents the graveyard. Okay, I can see that, but it's sort of yeah. like then you then everyone is like having to guess what's going on, and I just never really viewed this kind of sideboard plan out of Doomsday like that. Like it's 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 good and it's it's that it's it, that's a byproduct of it in the match matchups where you want to completely switch. But for me, like, Doomsday is still, like, a very strong plan against, say, Maverick or Lands or 12 Post or whatever. It's yeah. just nice to be able to, to sort of uh, add th a couple of Mentors and some maybe some Prismatic Endings to handle their hate pieces. But, but I, w I would never just, like, completely switch just to get them, if you know what I mean. Like, just to make, make sure that all this, the Thorn of Amethysts or whatever they bring in are, 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 are no longer very good. Yeah, I, I think the reason, like you, like you mentioned, is that the graveyard hate is so good mm -hmm. that it's worth to play around. And, and in a deck like Tin Fins, you have a lot of overlap too, so it's not free, but it's not as as, as huge cost yeah, yeah, as yeah. it would have been in, in like a fair deck. You have your Dark Ritual still, etc. And in Doomsday, it's kind of, it's not about dodging hate, it's mostly because your Doomsday deck is so tight so that you have uh, the core is it's just a blue control deck at, at its core and then you add some fast mount and doomsday and an oracle right so yeah uh, so that that's one of the reasons that this is possible at all and then also that doomsday is good in pretty much any matchup except for delver so that's the reason to so yeah no I, th those two you combine you have the option and there's the reason it's why you have this sideboard. All right, sweet. Well, I think we should jump into a league here. So I'm going to 
queue is up. I hope my magical line isn't gonna complain too much about me um, screen sharing here. Let's have a look. Are you seeing... Uh, you've, been on, you've been on this plan as well with Euro. How, how is that nowadays? Yeah, it's a really good question. Um, I, I, for me, it's uh, I haven't been able to solve uh, the 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 Delver matchup since you know the the landscape changed with the banning sort of, of Arkham's Astrolabe um, because that card was very very clutch at giving you the sort of Delver resistant mana base that you you really want. Um, and combine that with the fact that um, Delver now has that many one drops that you have to answer, or at least you know you can't really allow Ragavan uh, to to stick around. That means that you want, I think, at the very least like six, but probably eight one mana removal spells post board, and yeah. you, you you can't. I haven't been able to figure that out in bug colors. So inevitably, I feel like I need a fourth color, and then the whole thing kind of falls apart because you now want like you want a seventy-five that's able to give you black, black, black for Doomsday in game one, and you want to be able to go blue, blue, green, green, and then you also want the fourth color, and you don't want to get crushed by by like them having two wastelands. So I'm uh, I, I'm for the time being, I'm kind of it's, it's kind of retired. But okay, um, are you seeing my screen here? Yep. All right, cool. So we're on the draw here. What do you think about this hand? It's it's perfect. Seven cards. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm with you. <laughs> opponent mulligans to six. I've played against this opponent before quite a bit, I think, over the yeah. time. And I think they, they're they usually on some sort of blue-white X deck. But apparently not this time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so about those baubles, we we can spend fifteen minutes discussing how to set this up, and like only one percent of that will ultimately matter. But I think, like as a general approach, and if I have my land drop, I don't want to to spend them early. I I like to play them out post post board. I like to save them for mentor, but pre board I yeah. just want to to get. Them you, out there. you you don't want to to scry uh with the fetch line here to to ensure that we actually have a blue card in case we need to force something scary next turn or whatever yeah yeah that that, that we can do exactly okay so we can bobble ourselves we have, we have too many but what i want to say is that i want to keep one yeah if we draw a predict right that makes sense so you want to play one out or both of them out uh, so I want to play both of them out, but I only want to activate one of them. And we don't want to draw the delta. No, no, so. no, for sure. So we activate one on our opponent, that's what you're saying. But then we we, we already activated one already, but then we're going to shuffle. Um, but Yeah, so there, there's no point uh, targeting ourselves. No, so. no, no. But you so want to activate one more. Here. That, that makes sense. All right, let's see what we're yeah. up against. We're still... and... All right, well, so I my inclination here is to get an underground sea or scrubland to be able to go for a potential like doomsday as soon as possible. Uh, but that opens us up to wasteland. It's the it's a sort of once upon a time deck. You kind of think they could have wasteland at least. Yeah, so that's so, so funny. So you have eye on the target doomsday. I'm mm -hmm. I'm just here thinking how how do we get the predict and how do we resolve it. <laughs> so with that with that in mind, I want to I want to find a basic island. Uh, but we we already have two duels, so I, I can see either way. Yeah, that's either also, I think, like, if these two duels were fetches, I'd be more inclined to go that route, but I think... So, I think I want to go ahead and get the... Uh, no, no, I'm going to get Underground Sea. I was going to say Scrubland, but we aren't that big on white uh, game one. Yeah, we can go for that. And if we hit a Brainstorm here, and we might, and maybe we want to, to act on it. Mm, that's part of the reason why I wanted to fetch a basic island because if we find an island, uh, if we find a brainstorm here, we can get rid of the the jewels, or keep one for the combo turn. Oh shit! I I fuck. <laughs> Sorry. I just I I hit I hit uh, accept. That probably yeah, would be a card we wanted to force. Okay. So now we don't want to bubble. If we had forced this, I would have bubbled them. Yeah. Because then we can predict if we draw it. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, I. 
I feel so so dirty right now. Oh. Um, okay. Okay. Well. So instead, we bubble them. Oh yeah. Unless they affect uh, wasteland here. Green sends for That's zero. Fine. Yeah. You kind of have them pegged as being sort of low on mana, but I guess it's also a little bit aggressive to. Okay. Well, let's bobble them on their end step and um, hopefully, like, I guess I'm just kind of in the market for a dark ritual. Yeah, yeah, actually, no, we should have done that. that that's actually a good point. Uh, this is better if we drop for deck. That's always the end goal. <laughs> oh, there's a strict. Yeah, that's, that's a nice one. Yeah, that's not too bad. So the, the reason they fetch the arbor is that they want to play something huge. So now we can just land the Strix and have fetch land up for to pay for a force of will. Yeah, no, I I like that. Okay. So Strix is good here. So if if we draw Teferi, we can we can bounce Talia and block the Arbor, and we can force Talia on the way down. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. I'm I'm obvious. I'm I'm just only thinking about resolving Doomsday next turn. I gotta say. So, um, I think we probably have to f to fight over this. Yeah. That would be my inclination. Um, so I'm gonna fetch out Underground Sea. Uh, and I'm going to force pitch force because there's a world where we want uh, the second Strix. The Strix is actually nice to draw into. If yeah. you pass the turn pile, you can Strix. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Get okay, so. Oh, that's also not the worst. The thing is, we're going to be tapping out here, so we are going to go like shields down. Uh, next turn yeah, so what if, if they if, they... if this was a post for game there's a chance that we want to strix now and then next turn we can both doomsday and cycle into a force of will or something uh but mm -hmm. pre-board we just want to we just want to jam so I, I think I, so I think... too i think i want to play out underground sea here and then put a fetchable land in the pile that way we can already like with street wraith and the the fetch we should actually just be able to win and and have force if they happen to have like an endurance or something uh, so if, if we think about it, if if they tap out, they can't plow. They can't solitude us. Mm -hmm. But if you if you put straight um, oracle and strix on top, then we then we play the the strix and then we draw the oracle and then you fetch. So then that means you have uh, two cards left in your library and uh, you have two strix and oracle out. So even if they have the solitude, you can win. Yeah, yeah, turn, yeah. Right? That's a good point. Um, so well, let's see. We also have the street, right? So it should be super safe. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. So let's uh, go like this. It's just something too that Max always brings up, and I, I always forget that the Strix cuts uh, the devotion. The yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so let's put in a, an island to, to get with a polluted mm -hmm. delta, and let's get a Strix. And so what do we want here? So let's just say, so we draw Strix and we cycle into Thassa. Then we play Delta and Fetch, getting the, uh, getting the island. So that leaves two more cards in the deck that potentially, you know, could end up mattering, but probably won't. Um... I am inclined to make those two like Pact of Negation and I don't know at this point it's also about like not showing them I think mm. yeah, for sure so if you if you I, I don't want to disrupt di disrupt yeah. your thinking no, here, that's but fine if if you turn it, if you think about what they can have that we care about so what what cards do you play around here is it only endurance, or is there like a hate bear that you are afraid of? Well, in, in Maverick. Yeah, in Maverick. Um, probably not. Uh, like the the hate bears could be something like uh, 
uh, like a collector roof, we but we don't care about that. There's like a question of our mana. They could somehow mm -hmm. like like get to wasteland us. I I can't really. I don't think they can get to double wasteland unless they somehow have like crop rotation and a wasteland in hand. Um, but even then, we should at least be able to put like Thassa's Oracle on the stack and with the fetch line in hand we should be able to like win because we have we can then force yeah. uh so I think I think regardless I can't think of anything that really gets us it yeah. would have to be like like I suppose double no but even then like double solitude we still win with the yeah. Strix and stuff so yeah I think um I think whatever this is this is probably fine. Let's uh I don't think putting Teferi as one of the last two cards is going to do anything. So let's just put a, a Lotus Petal in case somehow that ended up mattering. Boom boom boom. I think this is fine. So let's put um Snow Covered Island on the bottom and then like a uh, packed No, actually. Let's make it Petal packed. I think you want to Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The strips on top, right? Yeah. I, yeah. Like we have the 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 street wraith, so it shouldn't matter. But uh, but we'll see. Hopefully, there's no way they can like deal us four. Um, or even. I think actually, hang on. If they deal us three here, we can't cycle and delta, and we you can't. Play, no, but you pay. You pay. You play the Strix, you draw Oracle, you play Oracle, and then you win. Okay. If they tap out now, they can't. They can't plow us. They can't solitude, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. Okay, so they. Okay, we they... get. We get caught by endurance, but. Is this actually the uh, crop rotation? Okay, no, it's not. Yeah, we should not give that deck too much credit, right? <laughs> Okay, so there's a Sophie. Yeah. So is this an Alpha Strike, or do they keep open the the Arbor? Okay, so hang on. So w with this, we can't. If if we don't block here, then we cannot force Crack Fetch and Cycle Street Wraith. But like we said, Cycling Street Wraith isn't going to be necessary, right? So. If you play if you play Strix, yeah. and you play the Oracle, you won't have mana to cast your Pact of Negation through Talia attacks, anyways. Yeah, no, that's true. That's true. Okay, yeah, no, this is fine. Yeah. Uh, let's go like this. Mm -hmm. Like this. So we could we could have actually put this the oracle on top and then just play it and if they have the solitude we can force or endurance yeah but i mean but now we have four pips so if they sh if they had shuffled our graveyard back into our deck mm -hmm. um yeah then then, then but then we cycle then afterwards we cycle. yeah 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 so that's that's four anyways. All right, cool. Cool beans. So, so uh, like, what I really like about this approach, so if you, instead of Strix, you, inst you had a Daze, mm -hmm. well, then you would have you would have won early because they had nothing. But <laughs> what, what, what ended up happening was that you did not have to take into account that you had to resolve your mana. Yeah. There, right? You, no reliance on, on the petals and yeah, uh, yeah, no. The attacks didn't hurt much either. All right, so um, I would, in a matchup like this, I would want to at least consider some mentors, and I would probably want some number of white removal spells. Maybe five is like a little bit on the heavy side. Um, I would want to probably think about cutting my discard spells and the Baleful Strix, even though the Baleful Strix did well. I don't, like, 
in principle, I don't really feel like Baleful Strix is that good if you're up against a heavy creature deck, especially with, like, Thalias that have First Strike. But um, they aren't, like, they can also be pretty good. So, yeah, I don't know. How, how do you see this? Uh, I can see that. I do that against Elves. I side out Baleful Strix. Mm -hmm. But I guess Maverick, I'm not really sure, I think. I want all of my removal, so if 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 they trade one for one, it's sort of a time walk in the matchup. Mm. I don't think they have much. Uh, like, we we can afford to spew cards on just killing their creatures, right? Because they don't they don't draw cards. Yeah, sure. And we also, because of all of our basics, we're pretty well set up. But okay, we need to decide what to cut, though. So we're, we're like. Would you bring in the mentors as well? I don't think I would. Okay. I think I want all my white removal, and then I want to cut. Uh, maybe the maybe the pact. Okay, that's fair. Or or Teferi. I'm I'm not really sure. I haven't I haven't. I I think to I think Teferi also gets a bit outclassed by the endings and all the removals, so I can see cutting Teferi. Like, what if we go like this, um, and then we... Oh, sorry. You want the... the you want the Strix, right? Maybe go like this? No, no I think, I'd rather have Teferi, I think. Okay. That's fair. So we're out of time. I don't think Mentor can. I don't think Mentor will go the whole distance. I, I like it in matchups. If you think about it like this, I want it in matchups where I want to kill Planeswalkers. Because Nar Narset and Teferi is a real pain in the butt. Sure, but I just also feel like if, like, Mentor is one of those pivots where they aren't really, they aren't sitting on tons of removal, and if you are able to go, like, Mentor, and then over the next two turns, like, get three monks, the, the, the game should be over. Um, okay, so I kind of like this Sneaker. hand. Uh, what, how, what, what do you think? i keep this hand. Uh, so, I uh... I, I can see the logic behind that plan as well, but I think you don't need to go through all those hoops because the matchup is good already. So it's about not not about getting them because even if you do get them with your mentor, it's still worse than just resolving Doomsday. I think. Sure. Okay. So, do you like? I I think I I don't know. Do you like getting a playing the planes and pretty much signposting what we're what we want to do and then be able to plow? like on their turn it's very likely that you want to plow and step so and you want to have ba all basics yeah so I, I would play the plane yeah i also just want to mention that we we ate up a lot of our clock in game one so i want to be just at least aware of that but it's so easy to fall into the into the trap of uh or not the trap but the uh the wonderful discussions uh about like like details and and things we want to do in the uh in in the yeah. games here okay so i feel like um, I'm going to play out the Delta here and pass. Uh, oh, not the Delta, I mean the, the Strand. And so the plan has to be to get Island and then get be able to get Swamp with the, with the Delta or get a second Island, I guess. Mm. Okay, so I guess what I really don't want to see here is like a Planeswalker or a, yeah. like, I don't know, it's Choke. the Knight. A knight, yeah, that's so fine. Get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. You know what? I feel like this knight has seen too much battle. They're, like, battle-weary. They want to go to the farm, just have the nice, easy farm life. Okay. I think so this... My approach here is to always resolve Doomsday with Dark Ritual, because I often end up passing the turn, which is fine, because the board is clear. Mm. And then when I untap, I want to rely on basics. I don't want black... I just want black on the turn where I was all Doomsday. Okay, so um, that, we, that we, can be an issue. That can be an issue, but we at least are able to to plow the next two creatures they play, and use our lands as lotus petals. Um, so play I, the tundra pass, and maybe the petal as well. Oh yeah, just to in get in case we must, yeah. we must force. Yeah, yeah. No, that's I a good don't point. See how we win if we do, but. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, that would be an issue. Well, I mean, we can get Del we can get Swamp with Delta, and we can get Scrubland with Flooded Strand. That way we can untap, play C, and then cast Doomsday. 
Uh, it's mm. not pretty though. I but... think the plan here is to keep the board clear, find the fairy bounce choke. Yeah, or find find an ending, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, or find an ending. So this is also like one one game where mentor would be nice, I suppose. Mm. Okay, so they play Mystic here, sure. Please get called or complete. Okay, sort of feast and yeah. famine. I think you plow this still. Yeah, yeah, Maybe no, I have the calder in mind. I agree. Okay. I think I keep hold of the C for now. I'm not sure though. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I should have played it to to save the pedal. Yeah. It's so tempting for them to wasteland the tundra, right? And then you predict in response. Um, uh, why? Why would I predict in I response? Do. Or I mean, I'm why not? No, I mean, but but yeah. If they wasteland the tundra, it's gone anyways. Yeah, yeah, no, that's 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 true. Okay, so I'm not cycling a predict here and then tapping myself down. So I think I'm just gonna pass, or not pass, draw but a draw. Game. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So now we play the C, I think. Yeah, you think so? Do you want to... I think we probably want to brainstorm here and see if we can find ending or, or Teferi or a win. Or are you of the belief to... I think they want to do that end step. Because if we resolve brainstorm, we want to resolve predict, and then we only have two mana left anyways, so we can't really do much more. Okay, I'm, I'm down. So this, this way, yeah, this way we at least can do the things in response to Wasteland or something. Hmm. So now you do it to get rid of the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the plow. <laughs> I was just no. About to say, have <laughs> okay, well that that was a bit unfortunate. So now now you have now you will draw the plow. So I think you just put both back and then after surgical resolve you you predict blindly. Why predict? Mm -hmm. Why not just wait? We might draw like bobble or something, yeah. it, it, uh, and mean, we can use it maybe, to pitch. Maybe we have that. We have the option. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was unfortunate. Yeah, that was a bit rough drawing the fourth. Um, hmm, that choke, man. It's fine. I've seen worse. Okay, here's the dried armor. So there's no removal we can draw into with the predict. So we just let it hit. Mm -hmm. And I think at this point we want to keep Oracle around. Sure. So we can... Sure. We basically win if we draw Doomsday here. So, so I think I'm going to discard the Delta. The Delta, yeah, that's for sure. Goblin is nice. Doesn't doesn't get taxed by choke. Okay. So now we just won, right? Um, yeah. I mean, they three black and then we predict into whatever. Sure, they they could have uh, they could have endurance. Is there a way yeah, we? It, let me just. Can't try and see if there's a way we beat that. Let's see, sorry, I play the Scrubland, we have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. Use three for Doomsday. Predict away something and draw like uh draw like a land and uh, a pitch uh, card for force. Something like that. Uh, you you put the land into the pile and you like you crack strand after predict. Yeah, yeah we can do that. You can have the mana to do that, right? So you can use the tundra and the planes to cast predict. You fetch delta to crack for underground sea or swamp. And sure. You have the delta scrubland and the petal for doomsday. Yeah. All right, so let's say that we put Brainstorm on top to hit with Predict. And we draw, let's say. Actually, I kind of like 
to put a predict on top because if the predict fails, if they have a counter or something, then the predict is what you want to cast. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. Well, I guess it depends on what's beneath what's beneath the predict, but sure. So let's put a predict on top, mm -hmm. and um, we need the we want an island in the pile to fetch. Yeah, and we want to. That's okay. What? Sorry. That second predict is also the pitch fodder for the force of will. Uh, oh no, no, no! We no, need. It's not. We, we need another blue card. Assuming this resolve. Yeah. So we just need to put any blue card in the pile. Well, that can be the the card that gets predicted with the second predict in case we draw it. If you take predict my meaning. To predict to predict. Yeah. <laughs> like All right. So let's see now. We cast predict, naming predict, drawing predict, and lotus petal. We fetch, getting the island, and I suppose we could put a street wraith in place of the second predict mm -hmm. so that we get I think this is the reason why we could have put the pact into the deck yeah still, right yep no yeah no no uh yeah but the pact and force is the same if, here if they cast endurance when we put oracle on the stack no but but then we have force of will plus like pitching predict oh this this opponent always gets angry with me because I'm playing slowly. Um, apologies. All right, so we name predict, draw predict street wraith, cycle street wraith into pedal, and then fetch. Right, that's it. Yeah. All right, cool. Hmm. Um, okay, so island, pedal. Uh, predict street wraith. Predict street wraith. Predict. Yeah. That's nice. So we just need them to not have like surgical extraction here. I think. Yeah. Seems like they have. Also, the reason why you put two predict into the pile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if they do shuffle. That's a good point. Uh. Nice. All right. Hmm. All right, sweet. We got there. All righty. Yeah. Let's... I okay. like that. Yeah, yeah. That was that was good. That was good. Um, mm. It's so easy to turn the corners when you have <laughs> like six lands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that that's true. When you get to that point, yeah. Even though we, they had choke from turn like two or three onwards, yeah, it ended up not really mattering. But we did need to to sort of just lock sack into that um into that uh doomsday or not lock sack, but you know what I mean. Like we top decked it. That was the best uh, the best draw we could have gotten. Yeah. So um, yeah, I don't know, like uh. So I'm very much used to playing, I think, a little bit of a faster version of this deck. So I, I, like you said, I might sometimes tunnel vision on like putting Doomsday on the stack. And like you said, I can, I can tell you're, you're like, how can I, uh, how can I get to bobble someone and cast predict? Um, all right. So game two here, you're up for this. I might end up in the control spectrum a bit too much. <laughs> I can admit to that. Um, all right. So we're on the draw here. And uh yeah, I think this is a fine hand. And yeah. I think I want to go turn one ponder, looking for yes. lands and maybe brainstorm uh, not lands. To do what, Martin? To do what? To do what turn two? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Well, I mean we'll see. It depends on what opponent <laughs> does. But but I'm I'm guessing that you, you you really want to cast like uh brainstorm to set up uh turn three predict. Mm. Um, Here's interesting. Do you rather get rid of the Dark Ritual or the Baleful Strix? Hey, hang on. I, I'm I'm considering whether this is even like a shuffle or a keep because if we get Wasteland here, like off our opponent, we're not in a good place. But um, I suppose like a random card could be even worse. I think we want to get rid of the Baleful Strix, seeing as we already have one. So I would probably like draw the the Dark Ritual and like then draw the land. And then actually use 
Hmm? So you predict away the Baleful Strix, you drop Petal Doomsday, and you resolve Doomsday turn two. Yeah, exactly. That's the plan. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I think at least of these three, I think uh, Baleful Strix is the expendable card. Do you agree? Yeah. Yes, and I want to draw the Swamp. Yeah. So that they can't discard our Dark Ritual if they choose to. Yeah, yeah, good point. All right. Yeah, so game one, I try to hide my Lion's Eye Diamonds as much as I can, but in post board games, I like to play them out sometimes. Um, and, and now, even now, if we resolve this predict on the draw, then you can play the Lion's Eye Diamond, right? But but so you don't have to discard. I have to say, my inclination no. here is to not cast predict right now, but rather cast it on their mm -hmm. turn. How do you feel about that? Also, is this infect? Like mm, could be. Yeah. I mean, if it's Infect, then I'm really happy I'm on Esper Colors, like, with all that removal. Yeah. Also, we could have predicted on their upkeep, just to, like, bog down their mana if they want to fight over it, but I think I'm I'm okay not doing that. It is Infect. Okay, so, hmm. Now, now I almost feel bad about, uh, like, putting uh, Belfast Strix as the card that's going to get predicted, but uh, I still feel like it's it's correct to do so. They probably days this, and then we play Strix. No. <laughs> hmm. I suppose that must mean they don't have a days. This is such a juicy days target, right? They don't even have to return a land. Okay. Hmm. Whoa. Hmm, let's think. So now you can actually... Oh. I was going to say you can play double Strix with the Dark Rift, but you can kill them too. Yeah. You have to, though, I think... I don't think it would be think... wrong of you to assume that they have Force of Will. So what I actually, hear me out here, what I kind of feel like doing is brainstorming now and then playing Belfal Strix through the cavern, potentially anyways, depending on what we draw off the brainstorm. Um, and then like next turn, hopefully like brainstorm will give us a white land. Next turn we can then go like uh, to fairy, bounce something, and then eventually like resolve Doomsday. How do you feel about all that I just said? Yeah, I'm just thinking about is there a world where they don't have a force of will? Because in that case, you can you can dark with doomsday, play brainstorm, crack LED in response. Well, you also play the cavern. So then, you, I mean, then if you if, if they don't have if they game. don't have a counter spell, then then this is a a surefire win. The only like I would just be they didn't have days. Um, they've kept a hand that's, you know, with, with maybe just like a bunch of, they could be just a bunch of pound, uh, like, uh, like bounce, uh, no, no, pump, pump spells is what I'm trying to say. Um, but I just, I don't know. I, I just really hate go, going up against like, like sacrificing, like throwing away a dark ritual and a doomsday into a potential counter spell here with, with just zero protection. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think that's fine. If you trade Dark Rift and Doomsday for Force Blue card, that's okay. So I, I think I actually want to Dark Rift Doomsday now and keep Cavern. So if Doomsday resolve, we can... Hmm. Do we actually... We play the Strix regardless, right? I'm just thinking if we want to hold on to the Cavern to know if we want to put it on, on uh, Thassa's Oracle or Bird. But I think, yeah, I think if we if we were to resolve Doomsday, we could make a pile next turn that involves Teferi, and then Cavern doesn't matter. Okay. So if you to play around, like, Spell Pierce, then you, you want to play the Cavern. So if you play Cavern, and then you Dark Rift Doomsday, and you put the Force of Will on top... Mm -hmm. We Strix then, into that. Then it Strix into the Force. Yeah, yeah, I like that. So, Okay. <laughs> this is this is uh interesting. Cavern on bird. Dark ritual. If I'm the opponent, I'm like thinking, what's going on here? Bird is the word. Bird is the word. Okay, well could be they had days but chose not to use it. That seems a bit far fetched here. And and question mark is if they force here, do you brainstorm looking for for a force yourself? That's fine. I, I just play my tricks. Hmm. 
Um, so you're not you're not all in. If you think about, if you compare this to Doomsday, well, maybe you had a way you 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 dazed something and then you burn the petal. You need to rebuild with five new cards, but now you actually just trade two for two. Right. Okay. So well, it's... they tap blue, and I for a second thought they might fluster storm. That would be terrible. But um. <laughs> Yeah. Like if they if they counted this, we can we can play more magic. Oh, the pitch stifle. That's good to know. Yeah, that's really interesting. Okay, so I think I am just gonna not. I'm gonna follow your uh, your advice here and, and let this happen, and then I'm gonna put our our bird out through the cavern. Play around the base for three as well. <laughs> oh sweet relief that is that's sick um okay well i mean we could still be dead to like invigorate invigorate berserk here but we'll see if they have that yeah, then kudos what, what 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 was the alternative now now we got a force out, out of the deal and we also had an uncountable strix sure i'm gonna block here because i'm not sure what else the strix is doing It's very likely that we are dead, but we we couldn't have saved. Like we 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 had to find brainstorm into double force. Right. Okay. So they they got it. Too bad. Womp womp. Womp womp. Indeed. All right. So I want a lot of white cards now. I have. I don't know uh, about you, but I have historically had a pretty hard time on Doomsday versus In Fact, uh, and that's on the types of Doomsday lists I usually play. The only times I've had a, like more joy against Infix has been when I've been on these quote unquote like transitional sideboards, either on Esper or on like Bug or Four Color, because boarding into a lot of removal is pretty is pretty good. Um, so I immediately feel like I want these, and I probably want the Forces of Negation. Um, I don't think you want this. All right, well we can talk about that in, in a sec, but I don't want the Pact. I don't want LED. Because I don't, I no longer feel like this is about, like, winning fast. Um, I probably, I, I honestly, I would be okay becoming much less of a doomsday deck, like cutting down on on the doomsday part of the deck, including the fast mana. Um. Probably don't want ideas unbound to be honest. I would probably feel okay doing this. And yeah, I'm kind of running low on space here, so maybe. So you don't want a force of negation. My, I'm my gut sort of, or my intuition was just to think like we're we're up against a combo deck that uses sort of non-creature spells, so it makes sense. But um, maybe the two for one is just too too much of a rough trade. So you have to think about what they cut, I, and I think they cut. It, it depends. If if they just think we are a combo deck, I think they keep a lot of pump spells, I suppose. But they have to get something for uh, mm. their interaction. So I don't think you you get combo killed, especially now that you have all these removal spells. You you rather have them draw berserk invigorate, and then you plow in response. So I don't think you are that scared of force of negation. I think Halbreacher is good. Because mm -hmm. you can end up getting them uh, when they brainstorm. Sure. We're kind of running out of time here, so if we had to make yeah. like three more cuts, what I would you... Discard. Yeah? The Strix and the Discard. I think might have uh, Veil of Summer. The, the Discard and the Strict Wraith. I like Strix. Okay. Okay. So I'll cut a couple of Discard spells here. Yeah, they could have Veil of Summer. Mm-hmm. I can I, I like that too dark with two doomsday. I haven't tried it so, uh, but I can see it for sure. Yeah, I think like when especially when you're bringing in the um, the mentors as well, you just you're operating on like several axes and you just you don't you're not that reliant on it. Plus, I mean obviously, probably we'll end up with like a, a hand that has dark ritual doomsday in it here. But uh, okay, no, we don't. But I, I I feel pretty decent about this. I don't know if if uh, Infect is running Wastelands these days, but they were on Stifle, so it's... 
But I think in, in either case, this is a fine keep. I'll grab a Tundra and one and Thunder. Yeah, I think so too. And then, you know, I guess maybe hang on to the Bobble, seeing as we have the Mentors. Or at least until we find a Predict. Ooh, I don't hate that. Although, yeah, like, resolving the Mentor is going to be tough, I think, but I still no, think fine. we keep uh, this, right? Yeah. So, if you play red instead of white, you have these elegant sheet solutions with Bolt and uh, Pyroblast and stuff, and now instead of Pyroblast, you gen three drops. So Yeah, I, I think, I, though, I, I like go like strict into Teferi into Mentor or something here. Yeah, I think that sounds good. They shuffle on their on their ponder. Uh, like, I mean, there's no good, there's no good trade one for one uh, in these Esper colors against the force uh, against the Dacer or something. No. So you have to just. How do you feel about drawing them. the island that's on top of our deck? Uh, I think probably. You, want to draw it? you think you want no. to draw it? No, right? No, no, no. I don't want to draw it. All right. So I think we're I'll we're sort of. I'm drawing land. Anyways, yeah, I think I think uh, I want to fetch Scrubland here, seeing as we're just sort of committed to the duels. And I'm gonna Strix. Yeah, I, my experience is that the the red blasts just aren't very good versus Infect because like too much of what they're doing is about green cards. Oh, I like I like the plow. Yeah, I was just saying in general as an Esper deck, mm -mm. what you have. Like to to combat Norset to combat the fairy, you can't have, rely on blast. You have sure. to rely on your own things. your own bombs. Yeah, sure. Okay. Mm. So, Marcus, control yeah. Maestro. We have a lot yeah, of options so, here. So I want to keep the board clear before I turn the corners, and it's free to play around days next turn since we have the fourth land. Mm -hmm. So I want to kill the agent. And right. I want to play Underground Sea and Prismatic Ending the Agent, because that plays around days, and if they force, we can plow in response if they have a pump spell. Right, okay. If plow is good to keep around for uh, Nexus. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. So, sorry, did, did you want? Did you say you wanted to go Delta or, or a C here? Or does it matter to you? Well, Rifle, so actually it's better to, 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 to Delta here, I think. Yeah. Right. So Delta, fetch Underground Sea. Yeah, I think so too. The stifles were uh, a little bit, or are a little bit scary. If they somehow like countered this, we can consider bobbling them. So, but we prefer to hold on to the bobble the next turn. But if this not, if this does not resolve, we can we can bobble. So we have maybe a shot at drawing a force of will or something. Mm, okay, well, okay. it resolved. No, we. No, we. <laughs> yeah, get in there. Yeah. Who knows? Might be that one point of life. Yeah, sure. Man, prismatic no. ending has really just made like a sea change to what white control decks or like control decks can can do. I think. Yeah, not drawing the wear tear. Yeah, <laughs> it's so good in in those like. Versus Deliver, they had Sylvan Library and stuff, Winter Orb. Mm. So only two cards in the whole deck, and you still need to respect them. But now, now we just kill a Deliver instead if if you don't have it. It's a, it's huge. Okay, so they um, they shuffled on the Ponder. There's Doomsday. Okay, wow, we just have a lot of avenues to go go down here. I think, I think I want to go to Fairy. Honestly, I don't know. What what do you think? So I think. A mentor is better because it only it's only answered by force of will at this point, and if they force it, that's fine. Okay, okay. So if, if we play the fairy, they can spell pierce. So spell pierce. Yeah, yeah sure. I mean, down. it's not really a card that's that much on my radar, but I don't know if, if... So they don't. So my my approach here it's, it's kind of interesting in, in with all these options. My approach is to play around what they can have because we don't need to respect what's in play since they have nothing. So mm. now we we ate the force and that was like the purpose of any of our cards. Yeah, and sure. And if we draw land next turn, we can play around spell pierce for free. Right so here, I think if if you want to, 
if you want to eat the days, which is fine, they're on four cards. Uh, we can plow here and then we can Teferi bounce the elf. I honestly four. don't, I, I really don't want to give them any value out of a days here when we, when we have four lands. I want to okay. untap, make Teferi bounce the, the, the elf. But yeah. that loses, so, yeah, yeah, sorry, go ahead. So we can, we can do that. And we can play the fairy, and then we can still play around days because if they have days, we can plow and they can't days us, right? Yeah. But if we plow now and we success, and we, and we succeed, we can the fairy and bounce our own Strix to draw one extra card. <laughs> I see where you're going. Okay. Well, I mean, I am going to listen to. Oh, so, and also, so one thing: what did they pitch to the Force of Will? Flusterstorm. Yeah. So it's not very likely that they have the days, right? Because Flusterstorm is better than days. Yeah, that's a good point. That is a very good point. Okay, yeah, they, they, they just that just happened. Yeah. Oh, we we could even just thought so now, them here. I guess, but that loses yeah, but so hard to bail. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's um, let's do this. Oh, mm. oh no, yeah. Uh, now we yeah. can't uh, thought seize. Yeah, no, that that's a good point. That, that was dumb. That's fine. Okay, but they concede. The, okay. the might of Teferi <laughs> was just too much. Okay. I don't think they had envisaged this sort of uh, onslaught of, of control cards uh, coming yeah. at them. And now you saw, they have four cards. They must have some kind of pump spell, right? Yeah, now, yeah. So now you see why I don't want Force of Negation from our huge sample size. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's always the problem, I think, with... Uh... I, don't I forgot know. to talk about Doomstalker, both in general and in, in this matchup. Um, yeah, it can eat. It can eat creatures. Uh, it blocks everything but the agent. Sure, but, but I don't. I don't think we want to cut a non-removal, non-combo card for it. That's the problem. There's no good. But... Then there's Thoughtseize. Um... And I mean, we just chose not to cast our Thoughtseize because we were afraid of Veil. So maybe that says something about how much Veil, uh, Thoughtseize is worth to us. Um, I don't know. I think... Um, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Maybe that's a switch can be made. It's not really easily countered by them. And it sort of kind of trades with like it it i hate i hate to exploit these or take use these 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 expressions but it kind of pseudo gives you like um virtual card advantage in the sense that like if you have strix and they have a berserk then the strix just doesn't really matter it 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 like protects you from one point of damage but tombstalker kind of cancels out and invigorate or whatever. Um, yeah. I don't know. I think I kind of right. talk, talk myself I, into I this. To, I want to see the card in action too. You know what? I had I had a sick game with. Um, I was playing this Grixis uh, Ragavan Doomsday list, and I had Tomb Stalkers right. as well. Yeah. And I played against Death yeah. Shadow, and they also had Tomb Stalkers. <laughs> and then I I like went Cavern of Souls on Demon and played like demon tribal it was it was awesome um yeah just something something else okay um wow this is a tempting uh, hand to keep i think the dark ritual is a little oh, bit yeah. annoying but um i mean you can turn two hell Reacher around days if they play brainstorm and you also have force of will this is very That's our plan this is very good and, and very true <laughs> i hope they just I guess like maybe we, maybe we are playing scared uh, of of stifle because they are on the Tom Ross like one stifle uh thing. Mm. Yeah, I love any time infect doesn't play an infect creature on turn one. I'm kind of happy. Yeah, it's like how Delvo was a year ago. Yeah, now, now they always have one wonder up. We yeah, <laughs> um, not the relief if it's a Delver though. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of want to speed through our our cards a little bit. Bobble. Yeah. I want to play bubble and then probably 
use it end step. Right. So if we draw a predict that we can do that before we Albert. Sure. But I think like we don't get much better a better shot at uh, turn turn two Halbreacher than this. But we want to do it in response to something, right? Ideally, yeah. So I, we can be sad when they like uh, main phase brainstorm here. But from their perspective, we can kill them next turn, right? So I don't think they can really just. They have to sort of respect what we can do. This is a little bit scary because now they have two threats and we have zero removal, but I don't think we can afford to throw away a force of will here. Also, it doesn't really uh, accomplish much much because then they can just, like, they still have an attacker. Yeah, you can't Teferi bounce the Inkmot Nexus. I think I will start with the bobble on them. Right now? Uh, yeah. Uh, just out of curiosity, why right now? What does that do compared to waiting? Until the end step, I mean. So if they have a creature on top, we need we we know if so if we want to brainstorm and we find one removal spell, hmm. and they don't have a creature on top, we are more likely to force this. But if they have a creature on top, maybe we want to keep our removal spells around for when they pump the creatures. Right, right. Okay, if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Sure. And, and and we we probably bobble them end step anyways because we want to we want to dig deeper into our deck. Right. So we might as well do it now and like pretend that we care. So okay. now we know there's an invigorate, mm. which means that we will use our removal spell in response to a pump. Right. Next turn. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if they have one or two creatures because they can only pump one of them. Yeah. That's what, that's. I think that was my point. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. So if we are under a lot of stress, we can brainstorm now, but I don't think we are. And we also need we need both uh, both white mana and the removal spell. Sure, sure. And the removal spell we need is actually just swords to plowshares. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'm I'm okay trading um, brainstorm for days. I think. Yeah, so may... I think I want to brainstorm first. Because there's also a world agree? where we just where we just pass with Dark Ritual Hull Breacher up, and then double Force of Will. But um, mm -hmm. maybe the time has come and gone for uh, for Hull Breacher. Right, I, I, I can see that. Right, we we can try that. We can try that. And it's it's less likely that they go all in on a pump spell or two if we just pass with seven cards up. In our hand. Yeah. Yeah, the problem is just it goes so fast and lot like if they have two creatures, if they if we allow them to, to just pump once. Um I don't know. Like well two if I mean they have a noble hierarchy anyway, so if they have one or two creatures, as long as they don't use a pump spell, the clock is the same. No, that's true, that's true, but I just wonder if they Okay, looks like they're not pumping here. Okay. That's good for us. We just want to... Oh, and now we end step brainstorm, I think. Or uh, do we hold bit? I think we brainstorm. I think so, too. But... I don't think they're playing around hold breacher right now. I don't think that's why they're not brainstorming. Hmm. That's... I don't know. We're, we're kind of being bogged down here by th cards we can't play. Oh, well... Uh... Just put. I think dark wit with mentor can be good. We want to make sure to have double blue, double blue pitch. So just put two to fairy back. I think. You think so? I just feel like we're. Yeah, and then we probably. But we're pretty far away from getting something out of of mentor, right? Like, first we need to hit white mana. So we're gonna ponder here, and just really hope to see some. Hmm. Oh, there's, hmm, hmm. There's a. Uh... We can do both. Go both. It it can go both ways here. I I think we want to resolve the doomsday, with double force. They only have they four have... cards, and we know one of them is invigorate. We also know they play flusterstorm. 
Um, mm -hmm. so... But if they flash the storm, that's fine too. We're not dead. No, no. So put Delta, Delta, Delta beneath the Doomsday. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. if Doomsday does not resolve, we have Strix into Hullbreacher. We, we also have to remember that we have sort of a diminished Doomsday power in our deck right now. We, we boarded out, like, we only have one pedal. But I don't think that, and we don't have Ideas Unbound, and we don't have Strix. But I don't think it's going to be around, about those those things, to be honest. We, we can win, probably. Um, okay, so... I'm gonna go like this, and I suppose if you're them, you you probably daze this doomsday, right? <clears throat> if you have daze, and the question is, do we fight over that? Okay, so they had the fluster storm. Fine. Okay, so they get the nice two for one trade, but you know it is what it is. But this is fine. So we have Force for Invigorate, and we can play Strix to keep Nexus back, and then we play Teferi to bounce the agent. So we can, we can bide our time here. Yeah. That is, unless we're dead. Yeah. <laughs> That's always the issue. So now we pitch the Hullbreacher, I think. Yeah, I think so too. Although we do also have like second to fairy, but I guess that then. Okay, so they. That's true. They are doing something here. Okay, so we have to. It's not them. The, the second to fairy is be below the. Yeah. Beneath the. So I think we force here, right? Yeah, force pitch breacher. Just don't have veil. They have another pump. No. Okay. So because of Ink Moth, they have us on a three turn, two turn clock instead of three. Mm. Yeah, this isn't looking too good, to be honest. Could be hard cast force. What was okay. Listener Elf? Jeez. Well, that won't change the clock. And we can block it with Mentor if we... Um, how do we go on about this? Yeah, so we can fetch out... Mentor is not... but, okay, so Mentor is not ideal, of course, but we don't have a Doomsday right now. I think Mentor is okay. Like, they have one card left, and we can like start to get Monks pretty quickly. Um... So like next turn so they hit us three impact. And next turn we play a strix, so they hit us for two. So and then after that they hit us for two again. So I'm gonna get Tundra here and play Mentor, I think. Yeah. So we the what last card. So we have to pitch to the fairy, I suppose. I think so. And then we just really have to like, we have to draw some some one mana white spells. Oof. I think I do force this. I think we do. I honestly think we do. I think they're sitting on like a land or something, um, or like yeah, I don't know. Could be a counter spell, I guess, but that couldn't hit target mentor. I think so too. Yeah, okay, it was a land. So now they're swinging with with all the guys and we we block how do you block this i feel like we block uh listener elf with the monk oh no never mind we can't block anything yeah had they attacked i think you block with mentor because if there's a small wind chance that we can raise this and you get more damage from 
two creatures. Okay. Uh, Strix first. Right, okay. In case we find a brainstorm. Sure. Mm, bubble. Well, both of them, right? Or do you, you, yeah. you keep the pedal? Yeah, it doesn't matter. You, you play the ball and you activate it and you target them. Mm. So we, we need to find... Well, we don't actually need to find anything right now. And play the petal and swing in. Right. We need at least... The hierarch doesn't matter either. And if they fetch, they, they take one extra, so... The hierarch is another, like, blocker, I guess. Mm. But, I mean, we can't really do anything about that. Um, okay, so they quickly trade here. So if they go all, uh, I was going to say, if we drop Plow and they attack with the Agent after they have uh, played a Hierarchy. So tap tap the white one and untap. <laughs> uh. No. <laughs> okay, so now basically we need, like... We're dead. No, no, we're dead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. They have uh, double exalted. Yeah. Uh, too bad. Too bad, too bad, too bad. So close. Uh, yeah, let's... Uh, I don't know. This felt like really rough game three because they, they just... Like, we drew zero removal and they drew, like, like four creatures. Yeah, 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 and, yeah too. That, that too, that too. And I also feel like... <laughs> there's the Tomb Stalker. That wouldn't really have made a difference. No. Um, yeah. well, those are the breaks. They also, I think, like, they had a pretty sweet brainstorm in game one when they were, uh, when we had Doomsday on the stack, and they both, like, they, they got their Force of Will plus, like, Invigorate Berserk for the next turn. And, I yeah. mean, that's what that deck can do, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's a very bad matchup, uh, I, I think, in general. Yeah, yeah, that's that's been my experience as well. It's like Denver, but they also they also have this combo kill out of nowhere. So, so Marcus, you up for uh, one last game, or how how are you feeling? Yeah, sure, we can go for one more. Sweet. It's, it will be interesting to go back and watch this game because there were several points where we could just push harder or hold back. Mm -hmm. it's sort of. No right or wrong, it's just different. And like with the sideboarding we, we could have we could have had more doomstays instead of the mentor. And now now this game three it was kind of apparent that the a second doomstay would have been better, but like on average I think the mentors are still good enough to pivot into because in in, in the Infect matchup. There's there's no answer but to kill you, right? Yeah, I think so, I, I think we also just them. like. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, it, it it's um it's a defensive tool as well because it can block uh, Glistener elves and uh, stuff like that. But right. Yeah, you go ahead. Uh, no, I was just gonna say like I think sometimes you know things just also align kind of poorly because we had the option to play force of to play uh sorry um hull breacher you know with days protection with force of will backup in a game mm -hmm. where they cast like i think zero brainstorms um yeah. it, it, you know in another world that just completely ends the game like right there kind of uh but instead they just they just had a hand that was like well oh, I, I like just creature creature uh ink moth ink moth ink moth whatever, and never cast a cantrip. So I, I think there's also just an element of randomness uh, in it, and it's kind of hard to know. You can't really cover all your bases. Uh, I think that's probably just true in general. 
uh, but 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 here in particular, like in, if Infect has like a fast kill you, but I only have one creature, but then I have like three pump spells, then a certain kind of hand works. And if Infect has this kind of hand, then you know, you know another kind of hand works. I don't know. I'm not too too worried. I think like we we like game two really exemplified what what we what the sideboard plan can do versus something like Infect, and I think. Uh, we can feel a little bit sort of aggrieved that we didn't even draw like a single plow or whatever here in game three. And also something we did not consider is to how to pivot for game three if they just get owned by a mentor or game two. Uh, it's, th this, th that didn't happen. We had uh, like Teferi and they scooped, I think. Yeah. We showed them a lot of people, but no mentor. But like, had, had we shown the mentor in a matchup where they have uh, fatal push, for example, then how do you how do you prepare for game three? Mm, that's it's, a good uh, question. Yeah. So like, what you say is true. It's sort of random which cards they draw, but also we can we can have a lot of agency in which cards they have in their deck as well. Yeah, I think that's a really good point. I think that's like a little bit. I don't think I'm I'm too used to like going deep on those kinds of thought lines but i think it's really clever um and yeah like decisions you make and actions you take kind of influence what your opponent is likely to do to prepare for for uh, the next game um, yeah, like for example, when I had Stoneforge package, after it was sort of known, people had their disenchants and they mm. melt, their meltdowns and stuff, and they just got my batter skull and I was sad. <laughs> yeah. So pivoting into do, into Tombstalker now is it, is nice. I'm not sure if Tombstalker is better than Murktide Regent because it's so sweet when you, if you do resolve your Doomsday and you shuffle all your stuff back into your deck, you your Murktide grows and you can just with them with it but you can just alpha strike them i th i had this discussion with some I people is, no <laughs> I, I don't know like i had this discussion and with some people who were like adamant that doom like tomb Saga is just permanently parked uh, retired because murktide is just just better but i think that depends on which deck you're trying to put them into and what strategy you're trying to like um like push through and i think in the i added tomb stalkers specifically for for the delver matchup and i think in the delver matchup being immune to to red blast is just like really important uh and a really really big deal um so i kind of like that i really don't want my sort of bombs to be to be taken out by by red blast if i can help it Having said yeah, that, I, I I don't know. Like it could still be correct to play uh, Merktide over Tomb Stalker. Yeah. All right. So I, I'm on the draw here. I think this hand I'd probably keep uh, mo most days of the week. I don't know about you. Yeah. Yeah. Seven cards. Perfect. Yeah. There's <laughs> always there's land. I, there's I spells. Reasons not to keep a hand. So. So. Comparing keeping hands with this deck and the Turbo Doomsday deck, in term do Turbo Doomsday, you need to... You have a window, right? You have, like, three or four turns, and then the game is over mm. most of the time. Unless it's, it's, like, a slow matchup. But the window now is ten turns, maybe. So Yeah, but not now, though. Well, not now. <laughs> said that, we face this. Is this still not banned? I'm surprised. But... Yeah. Yeah, you got to think yeah. that there's a reasonable chance we won't be seeing much of Ragavan um, at some point in Legacy's uh, history, but we'll see. So, uh, this immediately makes me feel bad about keeping this one lander, uh, and also just vomit, because they have turn one Ragavan on the play. And this Do pushes... They attack before they play their land? Come, sorry, come again? Do you think they attack before they play their land? Because if they do and it's not a wasteland, then we want to fetch an uh, underground sea. But if not, then we want to fetch um, a basic island. I think they play. However, then we open up to stifle. But I don't think stifle is common enough to play around. 
I don't think so either. I think they attack before playing their land. Mm. I think that's that's just the pa- the the play pattern I see most most often is like they they want to see what they hit before making a decision on on a land drop. Yeah. So either way, we just play strand and pass here, right? Yeah, you don't want to like brainstorm to make sure your Thassa's Oracle is not uh, like the top card or whatever. I think I want to do that in response. I mean, now they can like daze and use the mana, so maybe maybe you want to do that. Um, yeah, maybe it was better to brainstorm main phase. I think we can do it now when when they're in combat. At least that way they can't get to use their mana to uh, do anything. Island here. You, th- you want to get basic island? Yeah, we have dark rituals. I like that. Uh, and I think we put uh, Pact of Negation on top for them to draw, for oh. them to cast, or what have you. I think um, right, this is the one like main deck. Uh, okay, never mind. I was going to say if they have main deck Pyroblast. No. Okay, so, so now we go. I think that's actually fine. So maybe it was better to, <laughs> to pass just to tempt them to use the red mana on a bolt. Like, they should have obviously wait, hold on to that, I think, right? Because well, it deals yeah. damage post Doomsday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Well, it doesn't deal six, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I I know, I know. So brainstorm for... Well, we, we, we get, like, crushed here if they have a second uh, daze, I think. Okay, but they don't. Wow! Oh, oh my man, that was so oh. so good. That was insane. Um, okay, so we can start with Bobble, and we can have them exile the cycler with Ragavan. That's my take yeah, on this. Yeah, sorry, come again. Uh, so we want to resolve the Doomsday, Darkrit, Darkrit, Duress, Doomsday to play around mm-hmm. uh, days, and then we can Bobble them, mm-hmm. and then the card after bubble can be something they can exile with Ragavan and then we win next turn. Right. But hmm. it's funny, I was I was thinking about doing doing this next turn, to be honest, but that might be Because next turn I think we can we can win on the same turn. So like we can strix the pile next turn. Yeah, exactly. And then we can like this turn we can just go swamp uh, swamp dress and yeah, swamp dress and then ha- have the 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 extra mana next turn and use pact on the same turn. I just try I'm trying to figure out how do we play this with we have to back. You're right. You're right. So maybe it's better to do it over two turns. So the question is which like which card can we live with them exiling out of these? Dark Rift for sure, right? But then we can't we Strix. Pass. Then we can't Strix into into the pile. If we're going off on the same turn, I mean. Okay, so what you can do then is to put Dark Rift on top and then bobble this turn, and mm-hmm. then give them. Uh... I'm not really sure if we have the mana to cast that Strix, but we don't want to give them the Strix either. No, what we can do, like, if we go, let's say we put Bobble, like, Dark Ritual Bobble on top. It's not nice giving them the Bobble, though. Um, but if we were to do that, then we go, we draw the second Dark Ritual. We have three lands. We can go Dark Rit, Dark Rit, Doomsday. Our hand is then Strix Pact of Negation. We Strix into Brainstorm, and then we we get to win, but not if they have, like, removal. Ugh, that's, that's also actually not so good. Hmm. Um, so if... What if we put Pact of Negation and Island back mm-hmm. and then we cast dark crit dark crit 
Duress, Doomsday. Mm -hmm. If Doomsday resolve, we can bobble and have Force of Will on top and pitch our Strix. Yeah, for I like that. I, I like that. Uh, I like that more. So we put... Um, we oh. an island back with island on top. Sure. Well, it doesn't really matter what we put on top. Well, it does. It does. If Dark Doomsday is countered for some reason, we can play Strix next turn. So, packed on, packed back an island on top. Right. Play Swamp. Dark Grits. Yeah. I suppose we could have dressed there before firing the second, like in case they have Force, Force, Force. Or something. Okay, so they have nothing. Nice. Yeah, that, that is nice. Yeah. So now we also need note that the card we draw with Strix won't get stifled or something stupid. So we can. That's true. The only the only concern here is. Hmm. So hang on. I don't. No, no, no. It doesn't matter because the card they will take is Street Rage. Yeah, but but hang on. No, 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 no. It, it can't be Street Rage. It, it can't be Street Rage. They have four plus tricks for the top deck. But w what top deck? Like, what are we. What what are they drawing? I guess, like, a Force of Negation? The, the, the problem is, the way I see it. I see. Like, if we. No, we can't. We need the the street wraith to if we want to make an LED pile. I think, like if we want to brainstorm, put back, like do do that whole thing. Uh, Let's see, so you can put a predict uh, under the street wraith. So you draw your force, uh -huh. they get rid of the street wraith. You predict, and what happens then? Then you run out of library, right? So let's see here. We we draw force. They exile street wraith. We draw predict, yeah, that's no good. Um, so we can actually target them with <laughs> uh, with the bauble and then predict them. But that doesn't and work. Then we can track LED in response to that predict and then draw. But how did we get LED in our hand? Uh, we we draw LED from bauble and then on our draw step we draw predict. Maybe. No, we don't. We have to draw the force, right? <laughs> um, tell you what. I had heard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so I think you can you can go for a brainstorm pile here, I suppose, to make it easier. But then we can't get force. Mm, yeah, I know, I know. But we can um... if we put island on top. We can play Strix into brainstorm and not if we don't well no we can't we can't brainstorm either right because we draw too many cards <laughs> tell you what i want to do something different um I, i'm sure that's a good way about this but i'm too tired to see it now <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah don't forget oracle that's a good idea so uh, So let's just work this out here. Um, so we bobble and we draw Thassa's Oracle. We let them attack, take Street Wraith. We draw Cavern. And then we can either just go for the win, or we can go Strix, draw. Uh, yeah, no, but that, but yeah. Petals, right? Strix into Oracle is for, for mono. Yeah, that's true. So let's just make so sure we make sure to resolve the ball, the petal before the Strix. So if they daze the petal, we can just pass, and then we next turn. Okay, so let's but just make sure petal, we, we we bobble now. Get Oracle. Mm -hmm. They attack. Take Strix. We draw. 
we already have a Strix. We don't need a second Strix, right? Um, just we draw a petal, cast petal, cast Strix, and then we draw a cavern. And if they daze for some reason, we lose the cavern. Okay, I, the only thing here is we don't need the, the, the last card to be a Strix, but I guess it doesn't matter. Oh my god, we've taken so much of our opponent's time, I really need to apologize. Um, right, so Bobble draws Thassa, Street Wraith Exiles uh, to Ragavan. Force. Uh, Just add a Force. Yeah, make them think we have a Force. Uh, go like this. Yeah, I think it's fine. So, force on the bottom. Then cavern, right? Yeah. And then pedal. To make sure the street second from top. Yeah. Go like this. Um... And now you actually see what they have, so you know what to play around. There is a world where we... Oh, sweet. That sweet. Doesn't matter. So if something was scary, we could just play Strix too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, we play Strix either way, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. The reason this takes a lot of time is because we're both uh, talking about this, the details and it's hard to know which details matters. Yeah. I, I, I'm not behind the steering wheel and you haven't played this deck before. So, to, so it's, it's not very easy to just get No, for sure. Aligned. All right. So I think our opponent right now is looking through our exile zone, uh, trying to work out. Uh, yeah. Play faster. <laughs> so, <clears throat> aside from probably upsetting our opponent, and again, if they're watching, I am sorry. Uh, what has also happened is we've eaten up way too much for a clock here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I think we need to, yeah. Sadly, we need to play faster uh, for the post board game. Yeah, game two is not faster. We we just swap. Yeah. Cards. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, there is a Merc Tide. Yeah. I had a fun game. I was playing Spiral Tide against Merc Tide Regent. Yeah. So I bring Rose their deck, and then I had the option to cast Time Spiral to shuffle everything back in to grow their Murktide Regent with 40. <laughs> tell, tell you what, I'm not going to show them anything they don't need to see. So they don't, they don't know there's a Cavern of Souls in the deck right now. And they might deduce that, but they might also not. So, And the Cavern, I think Cavern on like Monk or something, or a human is like can be big game. Yeah. All right, so this time the sideboarding should be a bit more straightforward. Did you get some Git Action Pro vibes from that bubble? <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay, so we want... Here are 12 cards we want. The question is, if, do we want either of these three? Yeah. You want I the... Want the Elbitcher. <laughs> I knew you did. Like you, you want to slow the game down to a point where the tempo is irrelevant. So you basically look at a mid-range deck versus a mid-range deck, and then the cost of Halbreacher is is more reasonable. But this is also the reason why I like Flusterstorm because once you once you steer into that spot when you have the Halbreacher for their brainstorm, you want to make sure that it sticks around. And yeah, they have, <clears throat> ball, they have everything. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So question is, like, for the last card to cut, do we cut a pedal or the Street Wraith? 
I think the thoughts is oh, okay. Petal is good. Petal yeah. is good. I, I think that card is very good versus the day stack in general. Sure. You don't want Thoughtsies over Street Wraith. You value the the random card and the 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 ability to actually make him a three four. Think so. Hmm. I mean, uh, Thoughtsies isn't great. I mean, yeah. If if I had Edge instead of Street Wraith, I would have cut it. But yeah, Edge is pretty. You can, you can you can attack and then later when you find Teferi, you can draw a card instead. <laughs> Oh, Marcus. Okay, okay, I'm down with that. Well, let's let's go. Yeah, let's try. I, I can see thought this too. Sometimes they have like Narset and Expressive Iteration and stuff you want to, to discard, but... Yeah, Expressive Iteration really... It, that's really also a bit frustrating that the Delver deck gets to play like Shardless Bug suddenly and get like card advantage. Yeah. Okay. I like this. I have to say, I it's yeah, it's good. it's good. it's it's missing a, a, like a source of plowshares if they have turn one ragavan. <clears throat> yeah. So now you can actually play the strand, bobble yourself, and if it's a card, you well, no, no. <laughs> well, we we do that on their the turn. We we do that that. Yeah, we... exactly. <laughs> you delay the decision, so maybe you can. Give them a bad card right away. Or you can bob. Hmm, actually, wait. Maybe you want. So, the reason to ponder now uh, to just churn through your deck, but then you run into both Days and uh, Wasteland. So, maybe you. I think the Strand has to get uh, Basic Island, doesn't it? Tundra. You think so, Tundra? Tundra? Or basic island. Uh, like next, so if they daze, that's fine because we have Strix next turn. So if Strix next turn is the play, I like play to play uh, fetch basic island, play the ponder, yeah, set up so that Ravagan Ragavan is is not crucial, and the next turn play Strix. Okay, that's fair. It's so hard. Like, how do you, how do you play around the Ragavan? <laughs> yeah, it's a wonder of the draw cards and adds mana. Well, we 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 got to beat old Ragavan. So you can give you can give them prismatic ending. We we lack the white mana here, and then end step you bubble. So you draw. Hmm. Yeah. So what you do here is you draw the bubble. You activate one of them. Mm -hmm. so prismatic end third card. Okay, I see. Yeah. So activate a bobble now to draw a brainstorm on their turn, and then they get to cast prismatic ending. Get their ending. Yeah. And if they cast ending on your bobble, you crack the bobble. <laughs> you do realize we're not like a terrible far distance away from having Tomb Stalker through Cavern, right? It's just a dark rich yellow way, right? I mean, yeah, okay, force yeah, of Nick. That's not so scary really against scary. what we have here. Ironically, from yeah. what we were talking about, like the only card that really beats like Caverned Tomb Starver is Merktide Regent. <clears throat> but we have plows for their regions, and they have no answers to Tomb Stalkers, so. This is true. Okay, so they get prismatic ending. Uh, no answer to bubble them, I think. Yeah, I think so. Okay, post brainstorm. So this was also a reason why I put Stoneforge into my deck, because it's a better answer to Ragavan. Tombstalker is better when you when you turn the corner and turn into a full mid-range beatdown deck, but I, I I like my sideboard card to be good in hand against the turn one Ragavan deck. And even Stoneforge is too slow on the draw, so yeah. that's, that's a bar. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, no. Nope. even considering hard evidence, you know, the new 0 3 one 2 mana to draw a card. 
No land. Have you seen that card? No, which one was that? Sorry. Uh, have you seen the card Hard Evidence? No, no, I have. I haven't. Have uh, so I, I, they, they missed on their land drop. I kind of want to play Swamp and then and then brainstorm, honestly, to be able to make sure R Ragavan we don't get dazed and Ragavan whiffs. Yeah, because next turn you have Daze Insurance, anyways. But so you can play Mentor next turn in uh, with Daze Insurance, but they can just bolt you. So yeah, exactly. Ooh, oh. that that's pretty good. So <clears throat> I think can I kind them a tombstone. Um, we could, but I honestly, crazy as it might sound, I think, I don't know. Yeah, maybe we do, because I think having, like, the land is pretty valuable. Yeah, I guess. But you want to pitch force to force, right? So I think you put two Tombstalkers back. They can't cast it. There's no way they cast it next turn. No, that's true. Yeah, I like this. And so next turn, we just jam Tombstalker. Just tap out. Yeah, sure. And, and, there... and we have double force and the Mentor coming up. Well, we can't play Mentor if we go for the Tombstalker. No, but I think, like, we, we can play Strix. And eventually, like, we'll draw into uh, white mana and we'll have some, like, force... I, I think it's better to make Cavern on Tombstalker, to be honest. I don't think we can... We, we can't force this, like, right into the Red Blast. Do you agree? Yeah, I agree. I want to... I think Cavern on, Mon, on, on Human next turn, with force up. But, I mean... They just need, like... A bolt and a daze, and then we're like. Well, yes and no, because if if we are willing to pitch the brainstorm, the the mentor is a four four even if the bolt resolves. That's true, if and we, and we can still go to tombstalk rough underground sea uh, next turn. Yep, yep. Okay, okay, you convince me. I like that. You can also play Strix here if you really want to, but uh, I, I think this is this is better. We are okay, okay pitching Strix, so I think hmm, I think I force pitch Baleful Strix here. Yeah, this brainstorm is the card I rather have, and then I'm willing to force pitch the brainstorm too. Okay, so they they just attack here. Offering up, I'm guessing, Ragavan. And we're not going to trade. So let's hope they don't, like, hit a plow. Okay, they just they hit a land, which would have been white mana, but I guess that's fine. That is fine. So they obviously don't have the bolt, because they would have bolted, I think. Maybe not, actually, because if we have a force, they, they rather do like this. What's this? Re region? Oh, okay. Narset. Okay, so force pitch baleful Strix. Yeah. Well, maybe let them let them uh, let them do that first. Yeah, yeah. Let us not inform them more than we need to. Pyroblast into the bin. And so it, we... if they daze this or whatever, I think I'm fine forcing because the brainstorm is just going to be dead. Yeah. Sure. They have a force of negation in hand. Yeah, that's fine. Um, they can't force your tombstalker. This is true. And you're gonna watch us draw like a bobble next turn, or right, on our draw step to trigger monks and play around Narset. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sweet! Come on, force of will, pitching force of negation. So nice. Yeah, Nars just dies, so we don't we actually don't care about it at this point. Well, I mean we need we we can't attack with mentor yeah, into the uh that's a, that's a free three. Yeah. 
Any spell will do, but then Mentor dies. Yeah. On this. This, yeah, any spell, Marcus, you said, and I immediately oh, thought... Oh, yeah, any, any non-white spell, I'm sorry. Okay. Do you play around the days, too, maybe? Well, you can, you can tap the island, right? Yeah, that's true. I guess then I should have tapped the, uh, the Cavern Souls. Wow. That's brutal. Just horse. I mean, this is, this I, is fine. If we draw white land... We don't need to draw exactly white mono. Yeah, but we also need to fade them drawing, like, uh, Lightning Bolt. I mean, yeah. Force of Will, number four. And they had the bolts. Oh. Yep, we're going to lose this. And this, I think, even from a position where we... We look pretty strong. Yeah. The reason they got away with all these pitch cards was because of Ragavan. It's we we gave them no good cards, but they had the petals, and you see that that was the reason they could play the Narset like they did. Mm. And yeah, I, I think at least. Okay. Well. So it, just the case of the Ragavan. <laughs> <laughs> well, that also, like, we're getting kind of punished by our mana base right now. Like, mm. and was this a game where we fetched Basic Island on turn one? I think it was. Uh, yeah, I think it was. You're right. Well, live and learn. But I, I, it's all you can always, you know. Hindsight, hindsight is twenty twenty, as they say. Um, we had a few. I mean, unless they de exiled our deltas, right? Two of them, I think. And that's that would have been good. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So we just oh. Blocked here. What's this? Yeah, I was almost. No, no. What what's going on? I don't understand. No, I don't understand either. Another north dies. Not 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 like no. Nope. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, that would have been nice. Yeah. Casting the ponder first. I will set up a predict into a mentor and white mono. <laughs> Every good story starts with predict. Okay, let's shuffle that. Oh, no, we won the land, right? Yeah. So, okay, then. so the question is, like, do we think they have... Well, they had, they, they showed us force, right? But I was going to say, like, Mer Merktide Regent is also a card that I very much am aware of right now. But I think maybe we just plow now. Yeah, we need to kill both regardless. So just grab that. At the... Tundra, actually. Oh, well. No planes. Yeah, I think so. Planes, right? We can't like wasteland just gets us here. And I think we have to scoop in a turn or two so we can play game three. Yeah, it's just game two. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, here comes uh, Merktide. So I'm just gonna yield and then see if we draw another plow and then concede if we don't. I think. Or Teferi. Teferi is so good against that card. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, Ooh. Brainstorm is always interesting. Every good story starts with Brainstorm. <laughs> um, so what do you like here? Yeah. You play Teferi and bounce. Right. Right on. No blue card for... Okay, they have the blue card for the Force of Negation. No, they did no. not. How do we turn this around? I'm not, I'm not sure what's going on here. Yeah, it seems odd. 
They can just replay it, but then we have the plow. Which is pretty nice. We are drawing, like, a bad card, though. But we trade their turn with the plow, so that's fine. Yep, yep. Uh oh. Okay. And this isn't exactly. Lost the fairy. Yeah. I think we keep the monk back, maybe. Or. For Ragavan? No, just. A... Yeah, just uh, play the delta and attack. Oh, okay. We know what's on top now, right? Um, but we don't know what's on top. No, no, you're right. You're right. But I am going to play it out, and we'll see. And we are just running. I think we're going to lose the clock almost regardless now. We need to hit, like, Mentor into big action. <laughs> Punished. This is also a reason why I like the Batter Skull, because you can... You can draw it and, and just cast it like this. You have, if you top the mentor now, it's sort of not that great. But yeah, I agree. The battle just turns around the corner. I'm actually going to concede, even though we drew your favorite card, uh, just to, to have like. You had it. <laughs> okay, draw your top card, you'll see. Uh, plus, my. Uh, yeah, it's tempting to keep playing here, but uh, yeah. I already conceded my computer is just being ridiculously slow. There's Hull Breacher. Oh, we had it. Oh, so easy. So. We could then draw Hull Breacher. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm concerned because my computer is being very slow to s switch priorities here. So I think almost regardless of how game three goes, we're going to run out of time, but. So, I'd like to try a new thing then. I want to keep the removal, but I want to cut my creatures. Right, and then go back to Doomsday? Well, Strix I want. Strix I want, sorry. I, I, I count that as a removal. Okay, so I only the four the creatures. But then how are we with winning? Wait, with Doomsday. I mean, you want to Doomsday. Sorry. Uh, cut Halbreaker and um, maybe the the fairy, yeah, cut the fairy. We're still two cards heavy. Ideas unbound, and one force. Like that. So right? You don't need to force. You have you have a critical mass of removal, so you kind of can just brute force your doomsdays into their forces. So I won't get like Island Swamp Dark Ritual Doomsday Belfal Strix Force of Will that kind of hand. That's what I want. I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy this ride. Then I can complain later in three and a half minutes. <laughs> okay. Neither of those cards that I wanted was in my hand here, but I'm gonna keep and I'm gonna bobble myself. Predict. Okay, I'm gonna keep because I have you. I have you watching here, but I don't know honestly how much predict is gonna do for me here. We'll see. Yeah. Let's see if they have Ragavan turn one in all three games. Do you plow if they do? Okay, they don't. They shuffle. Okay. Uh, how can we lose? <laughs> okay. Ooh, I like to dress now. Yeah. Basically, if they do this, we won't get dashed. Ragaland. That's all we care about, right?
So if they days and we predict we're up on mana and cards. What an amazing trade. <laughs> okay. So we plow first. I think if they do if they do counter or predict we can upkeep predict next turn. This is true. We don't even oh yeah, we do need to. Oh come on. Yep. Nice. I think I just F6 here. I did. Yep. There's nothing I can do that we care about enough. Ragavan, we can play around. Sweet. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. We we don't have uh like. I, I don't. Br I didn't bring back an LED. I don't think. We force pitch ponder here. Yep. No, I just want to brainstorm too. Just. Yeah, but that's probably stupid. No, I I, I was I think regardless incorrect of me to take the untap with scr like let the scrub line be I, untapped. I we have we have two minutes ten seconds. So yeah, maybe yeah. We need to prioritize. Yep. Yep. But they they need they need double force here. Sweet. Oracle Tavern. Oh uh, my god, my computer is lagging so incredibly much. Doing this. Um, We're almost there. So I'll draw duress. I'll predict a uh, brainstorm. Oh, you predict. Um... Yeah, okay. Never mind. Yeah, I'm not getting to click anything Just right two now. Things. Two things. Okay. That's fine. Put pedal on the bottom. So this loses to like Dash Ragavan. And some other things, but yeah, whatever. It is what it is. We have one minute and five seconds. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Uh, do you remember the order? Because if they do, if they do dash. T top. Ragavan, we can, we can. Top card is duress. Second card is mm -hmm. brainstorm. Uh, third card yeah. is oracle, and then it's like cavern pedal, or else it's oracle, is it, or else it's cavern oracle pedal. Pedal is on the bottom. Wasteland could also be a problem here. All right, come on, opponent. Well, no, that's actually a bit unfair. <laughs> you think? <laughs> yeah, so if we had Brainstorm and Step, we could predict to draw our whole pile, but now there's one card on the bottom of our deck. Okay, so... They could just have second bolt, I guess. Alright, so I'm not going to talk from now on. It's somewhat close, Martin.
Good job, Martin. Sweet, we got there. Wow, that was <laughs> that was crazy, Marcus. <laughs> Whoo, man, that felt like we won where we had no business of winning. <laughs> yeah. So, did you like the approach? Like we, we sort of ate their forces. We never exposed the critical spell. Well. We, we did, but we were never all in on having the spell resolved that they force. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Well, like we, 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 the approach was to slow the game down so that we could bide our time and find a, a new doomsday. Yeah. 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 Um, man, I, I'm sorry. I, I I think I'm a little bit um, flabbergasted right now. I don't even completely remember how this game one, <laughs> uh, this game three uh, ended up sort of or like progressed. This was our only Doomsday to cast this, this game, right? I think so. It's all blurred together. <laughs> but like the, the general concept of playing against Blue Red Delver is that I slow the game down enough that I can jam Doomsdays one, two, three, and have some of them resolve and win. Right. Um, like I'm not, I'm not all in in the sense that I have to rebuild with five cards to cast a second Doomsday, because I already have the mana and I have no creatures to worry about. Right. Yeah, I can see that. Um, I don't know, like... At the cost of not having a good sideboard. <laughs> so, so... In any other match. Sure, yeah, yeah. I, I think, like, I've talked to Kai a lot about this, and I think we're both kind of at a point where... We, we probably feel like, so, the, the, the anti-Delver thing is just not really coming together. Like, in, in, in any of these transformational strategies, be it Grixis or Bug or, or Esper, some are better than others, I'm sure. And, and, and I think, like, the, the, the experiences I've had have led me to feel like probably, like, Turbo Doomsday in the Grixis mold is is where I'm more comfortable and where I'm getting the best results against the meta at large. And then I have a, a fairly uh, underwhelming Delver matchup, but it's like, I heard someone bandy around like that we were 20% underdogs or something. I don't feel like that at all. I don't feel like, I think like in Legacy or maybe in Magic in general, if a deck is truly an 80% favorite against another deck, that's a, and that's a pretty a pretty big deal. Like, I feel like Doomsday versus Twelve Post might come close to those sorts of numbers, and that I I think I am lifetime X one against that that matchup. I think I have like I'm twenty to one or something, and I feel like if I'm playing against Delver, I might I don't know like at least win one third of those matches. Maybe maybe closer to like. I don't know, 40%? I'm not sure. Anyways, it doesn't matter, but it's just like I'm okay with that because I feel like the deck is doing really well against the rest of the format. Um, the, the the loss we took in game two of this this round three here so very much echoes my previous experiences with especially the Esper list because of what Mentor kind of does to like you have a three mana or in our case, yeah. because of Teferi, we have like a lot of three mana spells, and it's just like really hard to get to work against the del the the days uh, wasteland deck. Mm -hmm. um, and it's like initially it looks good, and then it just kind of comes apart, and eventually they just critical mass us out, and and are just like their threats are too efficient, and their cards are too efficient, and ours end up feeling rather clunky. We have like cavern on on Monk or Human, and we have a Tomb Stalker in hand or whatever, or it could, could have been the other way around. So, I don't know, like... Uh, yeah, so I'm not arguing that this is the better approach. Mm. I'm just, that on the other side, you have to think about how much you give up in the other matchups when you're as per mid-range rather than Doom, Turbo Doomsday. Sure. And, uh, and also, I want to, uh, to stress that if if you choose the mentor tombstalker route, you go for like mid range rather than control, 
And if you go for control with Stoneforge or more removal or more Quadra, then that's that's another ballpark in the Delver matchup. Too. Right. I did actually consider instead of two Tombstalkers. I know this is sounds a bit weird, probably, but like one Tombstalker and one Path to Exile to have like a fifth plow. Um, but it just like even if we had like let's say two more like two two paths to exile, so it's like ten one mana removal spells that they still have they play like what fourteen to to sixteen creatures, and not all of our removal kills right to cancel out our predict, yeah, yeah, exactly, so it just feels like no matter what it's we're kind of at odds or at least we're not. We're not, like, sitting comfortably, if you know what I mean. Um, and yeah, I don't but know. I think so. yep. that solves that sort of because that's a one, that's a, an unstoppable end game. Uh, I mean, assuming they have no actual answer to the batter skull and we keep the board clear, mm. they need to answer that with cards over and over again at the cost of a lot of mana from our side. But we. We remove we try to remove mana out of the equation and that that is the control approach so we have cheap efficient answers mm. to to buy ourselves the time needed to turn the game into a game about cards and not mon and, uh, and not mana like their top deck against our top deck i have six mana you have four mm. we have nothing then i just want to reset my batter skull <laughs> yeah 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 no that's a good point and I think I I do I can see how Batter Skull is is really is really good there. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just like like finishing or Uru. In... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uru. I think Uru is is the card I've I've played that have felt the best against Delver uh, out yeah. of Doomsday because it that that sucker is just like it does it all. It's 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 pretty crazy. It gives you the life gain that. It like drags out the game, and just ends the game on its own and comes back. It's just that that's a silly card, and I think if the downside, yeah, yeah, the downside is the mana, and mm. I don't, if I remember correctly, I haven't played the Euro Doomsday approach with eight spot removals. Have you? Um, I have played. I think you need that. like the first the first the stop is to have enough answers to Ragavan, and then you can continue with yeah whatever. yeah yeah and that's just that's just it that's why i had like i i think i think we talked about it at the beginning of this video or maybe it was before we started recording but but like i have just not been able to solve it uh post ragavan because now they have so many like the need to have hard turn one one mana removal is just too big um and if you're on bug colors you only really have fatal push that fits that mold i don't believe we can start playing stuff like snuff out or uh it, it's probably close what hydroblast stops iteration as well yeah that's not a bad like, shout i guess yeah like a blue green base with two urborg to better help casting the black cards i don't know uh, the petals is also free for the the splash yeah, I, I, the, the, okay, so I think I actually hadn't really considered a Hydroblast because I do think that the, 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 the critical thing is can we remain in bug without having to branch into the fourth color? Um, yeah. And, yeah, I mean, honestly, I mean, people have stopped playing Delver, right? So they're on, like, Ragavan and Dragon's Race Chandler and then the, the Murktide... And then sometimes Delver. And sure, Hydroblast doesn't kill Murktide. And that's why I think any... That, that was actually the, the, the one card that the bug, the bug Shell had issues with before, uh, the, like in the old meta with uh, Dreadhorde Arcanist and stuff, was uh, the uh, Ethereal Forager. Because it dodged everything but Pyroblast. It dodged Abrupt Decay, it dodged Fatal Push. So what Kai and I ended up deciding to do was to start swapping uh, Decays for Assassin's Trophies. So I think in this 
in an Uru shell with Hydroblast and push, you also want like I think at least three trophy to to, to have an answer to. Without plow, you need something for uh, dark depths as well, and a trophy does that. Yeah, it yeah, answers. that's true. So. Marcus, I think I'm actually yeah. gonna I'm gonna not play the rest of the league right now, and um, I wanna I wanna thank you so much for for coming and playing this awesome these awesome three matches. I really had a good time, and I, I learned a lot, and I'm sure people watching did as well. So thank you, man. Thank you. It was a lot of fun. I'm All right. Crash now. <laughs> yeah. All right, and. Uh, to you watching thanks so much for watching i hope you had fun and uh, i'll be back with some more legacy bye bye <laughs>